Where, where are you in this big wide world right now? Uh, I am in uh, Gothenburg, Sweden. Beautiful. It's very, uh, it, it's cold, it's snowy. It's uh, yeah, quite the opposite from what you're having at the moment, I hear. <laughs> and it's hot as fuck. Uh, <laughs> let's just put it that way. It's really, really brutal. But uh, yeah. you'll be experiencing that very soon. <laughs> I will. I'm, I'm sure I will. Man. Man, well, hey, I appreciate you uh, hanging out on the show tonight, man. It's uh, you know, this is the first time I've had you on here. Yeah, yeah, it's premiere. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Well, uh, of course, Arch Enemy are coming back to Australia, and we can't wait to see you. Uh, and uh, man, how are you feeling about making the trip? Oh, very good, very good. Uh, you know, can't wait. I mean, it's been um, it's been a few uh, few years since we've been down, so. Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's a long, it's a long trip there, but it's all worth it. Absolutely, because I mean, Australia's always had this love for Arch Enemy, man. Like I've seen you guys several times over the years with both Angela and Alyssa, and you know, it's always a real good time for us, man. But um, you know, for you guys, how's that experience been over the years? Has it been different at each visit? You know, has there been one better than the other? Um. I, don't, I, mean, I think they're all been like they're all been really good. I mean, I just, I especially remember the first one, of course, because that was uh, you know new experiences. You know, something that you never forget. Um, I remember we were uh, we had just come from Japan in two thousand five, and then flew in to, flew, flew into Australia uh, to uh, to do our first show uh, and. Japan, I mean, Japanese audiences are fantastic, but they're 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 very civilized and and polite and a bit quiet in between songs and things, you know. But but uh, and so we were just sort of like coming into the venue and right before the show, and we were <clears throat> backstage and had a, just had a door between us and the stage, and there was no band playing, but it sounded like a war was going on in there. And I was just like, wow, okay, I think we're in for a treat here. And we were. <laughs> it was fantastic. It was that very, very, uh, very, very first night at Brisbane is something that I will never forget. I was um, there. I was there, dude. I remember it. And it was, you were? Oh, yeah, man. At the, I believe, yeah. I think it was, was it the arena? It was the arena. You're it correct, was. sir. The polls. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Piece. It's no longer there. It's mm-hmm. it's a big crater in the ground now, sadly. But I was there, dude. Oh yeah. And it was yeah. it was yeah, it left an impression. <laughs> oh yeah. But you know, all all the ones been really good. Uh um like the last uh and then and, and because we were there in two thousand twelve and then we didn't then we didn't return until two thousand eighteen. Yeah, yeah. Which was like that. That was like a long thing because in the beginning we were there almost like every year. I mean, two thousand five, six, seven, uh, nine, uh, and then twelve, and then nothing until eighteen. And so we were sort of like wondering, okay, how, how, what was what's, what's this going to be like? And it was great. It was absolutely great. Um, and uh, we realized how much we sort of missed Australia. And we thought, okay, well, this time we won't let it live, be that long. And then, you know, things happen. And uh, <laughs> yeah, <that's tough. laughs> yeah. So, but, but at least now, finally, it's time again. So, so uh, we, we're very, very excited. Well overdue, mate. Well overdue. But I think I saw you. Did you come down with? You came down when you with witchery as well, right? In between. Uh, I didn't because I was. Oh. Um, I no, yeah. So, so. Um, so I wasn't on that tour, unfortunately. No, yeah, no I wasn't because uh, I was somewhere else with Arch Enemy at that point. That's right. That's right. I remember that. Because I'm trying to remember when I've we've seen you personally over the last few years apart from Arch Enemy. Uh, yeah. No, I, I've, I've, I've only, yeah. So, uh, so the only, I've only been to Australia with Arch Enemy. So. There you go. There you go. I must be uh, mm-hmm. misremembering things in my old age. But, uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. um, 
you know, but uh, of course, I mean, the latest album, Deceivers, was one of the best albums of last year, dude. Like, and it's still getting high rotation from a lot of people I know, including myself. Um, has it been playing those new ones live, taking them out there into the big wide world and and getting that reaction firsthand from all the fans? It's been uh, it's been great actually, and uh, almost like an overwhelming response to to the new songs. It's, but I think it's just because we've had so many singles mm. this time. I mean, it, it it was a new way of doing things for us, uh, where we released like three singles even before the album was out, and then three more. But that also means that we had to like play. Uh, a lot of those songs, and just it, it, just because like people are so so uh, familiar with them, mm. so they're you know because otherwise you do whatever like two or three singles, and you know that's it. But this time it was uh, it was really uh, it was really overwhelming, like because people knew all of them just really by heart from the beginning. It was like these were like you know. These were uh, old classics already. You know what I mean? Cool. <laughs> because in this day and yeah, <laughs> but I mean, because in this day and age, it's like it, it's the last thing that a lot of people took in was, mm-hmm. like, of course, like the latest video or, or yeah. So we've been doing quite a bit of the new album. We've we've already played I think like at least almost seven of uh, seven of the songs like live. So uh, which is. Uh, quite a lot for for uh, for a new album but it's but it's been going really well that's awesome man because i mean you're about to release uh is it the video for poison arrow as well yes exactly so that will be single number seven <laughs> that, <laughs> From an, that doesn't yeah. happen you know what i mean like it, no it, it, usually it, it, when it, it, you get three and then you move on yeah, yeah exactly but uh for some reason uh this is how it's done these days and uh you know, I don't mind at all. Um, Just we had, we had to we had, we had to make like a whole a whole truckload of videos, though. That's the only thing with that. And uh, and videos are a great thing, but they're not all that fun all the time to shoot because there's a lot of waiting around and there's a lot of many takes and it's like you just like can't we just you know play a show and have somebody film that which was a good thing that we did for um uh one of the songs the watcher mm-hmm. which is basically f- footage from uh from uh, from Vakin last yeah. year which is uh and uh and I think it turned out great you know it's it's just I, I, I didn't have to I, you know I didn't have to actually shoot a video I just had to play a show somebody yeah. else <laughs> fix the rest to the hair fantastic up. yeah man yeah yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> but uh, I did see that was it what, I can't I don't know what it's pronounced one of my mates is right more into vinyl than I am correct me the Z- Zeotrope version is it Z- Zeotrope uh, With so, the... yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, exactly yeah man have you seen that thing in, in first hand? I want to get it. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it, it's cool. I mean, you just uh, if you yeah, if you watch it, it's like you can you, you know you can uh, you can you can see all of us sort of moving around. It's it's a pretty cool thing, I think. It's incredible. Like, yeah. I mean, but that, I mean, that, that that that's one of the oldest ways of uh, presenting moving pictures. You know, from way back when, and it's great to sort of like reuse that now these days. Man, I, it's something that I, I I've seen I've seen little footage of of ones before, but nothing like that. But, where like color picture band moving and head banging, like mm-hmm. yeah, it's incredible. It's incredible. Yeah, no, it's, yeah, it's a really, really, really good idea. Uh, uh, and yeah, it looks cool. <laughs> Yeah, man, absolutely. And of course, uh, outside of Arch Enemy, you keep yourself mm-hmm. busy playing with different uh, bands like Spiritual Beggars and and Night Flight. Or Night Night what? Hey, it is night time. Let me back that up. Night Flight <laughs> Orchestra, who I love, yeah, I love that band very, very much. Oh, cool, but, cool, uh, man. How's it going to different projects? Do you what do you look for in in something that's different from project to project? Um, well, I think. You wanna you wanna do something that's a little bit different than what you're already doing, because mm. uh, it's uh, it's really no point in playing in two bands that sound alike. Um, 
So, you know, beggars being more sort of like the bit 70s and a bit more, uh, you know, a bit more groove orientated. Uh, you know, that, that's something because that's sort of like what I come from, like 70s music in, in, the, in the first place. Uh, and uh, Night Flight just being uh, basically what we set out to do from the beginning was uh, American radio rock from 78 to 82. That was like, it's, that was a framework. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's so uh, uh, and uh, yeah, so it's 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 fun to do. It's fun to do like different things, like when you can, uh, and also to play with different musicians as well, because you know you learn something from it. Um, so I mean, I find you know whenever there is uh, whenever there is like time over for March Enemy, I I uh, I really like to just fill it with other types of music, and I think it's also when you meet people in other bands, like what's the first thing you say? Like, you know, if you have like a, you know, a nice night at the bar, Hey man, we should, we should, we should do something together. It's just like, and, and, you know, you know, 50 times out of 51, uh, it never happens. But, yeah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, but sometimes, sure. it, sometimes it does happen. And I think it's like, it's, it's that whole thing with, uh, like, um, uh, like men in groups it's like and it's like little like men hanging out together it's like we have to have like some sort of activity you know if we, you might go bow hunting or paragliding or something or in our case music so it's it's just another excuse to hang out basically <laughs> it's true it is true that's wednesday nights for me well it's going to be Tuesday. Mm -hmm. but uh you know you, 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 we've got our beer fridge you know, we jam mm -hmm. amounts of death metal, and uh, afterwards, you know, it's like blowing off steam. Some people go to the gym, some people yell into a microphone, and uh, that's mm -hmm. where I sit. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you do it well. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. But uh, you, you also, you're a part of uh, Merciful Fate back in the 90s. Uh, right? I was, yeah, yeah, back then, uh, yeah, in, in uh, from 93 to 99, yeah. How was that experience? That would have been incredible. With the it was, yeah. No, but it was great because uh, it, uh, Merciful Fate was one of my favorite bands in my in my uh, in my teens, my early teens. Um, and uh, and just to be able to like play those songs like with you know at least like three of the original members was fantastic. You just stand there and. You know, you could you could just you, you see King standing there singing, and you have like right next to me with Michael Denner playing like fantastic leads, and you know, you'd see Hank Sherman riffing away on the other side of the stage. I mean, that's just something. <laughs> it, it was mind blowing, but it was great because it was my first real sort of like professional uh, gig that I had, um, and. You know, I really learned a lot. I mean, it taught me the ropes uh, because I saw how things were done um, in, in the real world. You know, the big boys, how they were doing it. So, so that was that was fantastic. How was that first jam though? Were you shitting shitting yourself? Was that that with the uh, that moment you're like, oh, this is actually happening? Mm. Uh, well, it, it 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 was a little bit weird. Uh, because we we did a few rehearsals first, just the band. Since yes. Then everybody was living in Sweden and Denmark, and but the King was living in America, and the first tour was in America. So the first time I played with him was when we did a few uh, few production rehearsals uh, in in New York, and so the first song we played was Evil, and then. I, I heard because it was such a small little uh, like rehearsal stage that we were on. I was close to him, so I could hear his real voice, like over the PA, like I because I was standing close to him. Now it's just like, wow, that's actually him, and that is his voice. That's <laughs> it was amazing. And then as, as soon as that happened, there was like I said, I think the place that we were playing in uh, had been some sort of like small church before. And so there was a little glass window in the shape of a cross. And when the sun came in and hit the stage through the cross, and then uh, and then the all of a sudden like the, the power for the PA went. <laughs> oh, we just right. Like what happened? And I, I was just like, okay, uh, right. Like, of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> 
What a story. It's amazing. Yeah, you know, and, and 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 of course he 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 just he just smiled and he's like, yeah, you know, it happens. Yeah, he probably does. But uh, to him, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sure he's got many stories all that. But uh, of yeah. course, you've ticked off heaps of stuff with Arch Enemy throughout the years. Mm. You know, your bucket list, like what what else is left on your own personal bucket list of of things to achieve musically out there in the big wide world. Um, I don't know. I mean, I think it's just soldiering on and trying to do things bigger and better and and more. And uh, you know, I mean, there's still places, there are continents that we haven't played yet. Really, uh, I mean, we, we we haven't really we haven't really been to Africa, for example. I mean, we played Morocco, but I mean, that's so far up north that it's almost part of Europe. Yeah. Uh, and it's it's just this is like when it comes to continents like Africa, it's like you can I think you can do Morocco, you can do Tunisia, maybe, and you can uh, you can do South Africa because I think like Senegal, I don't really know what the metal scene is like there. I'm sure there is one, but <laughs> <laughs> it'd have to be, or like Nigeria or something. Really? I, I, yeah, it, it, it would be cool. I mean, we we still haven't been to India. Oh, uh, wow, yeah. So I mean, we have, we still, yeah, we still have a few places to go. But then again, it's all the places that we've already been, and just visiting them again and again. Uh, so I think, I think like the there's not really, I mean, bucket list. Yeah, there's like places you want to play. Like you know, you want to you want to headline Madison Square Garden and all of that. But like the older you get, the less you care about these things. Those were just like sort of like the, you know, almost like pipe dreams when you were you were younger, things you thought you would just never ever experience. But then again, you experience more than you ever thought you would. Uh, so I think yeah, the goal is just like to, you know, well I think the ultimate goal is to to make the ultimate uh, metal album, and that's what we try to do. You know, the album that we always wanted to hear the album that we would run out and buy every time. And that's, that's, I think that is the, uh, the, the big goal. Is it, have you got ideas for the next one? Are you jumping onto the next album yet? Yeah, well, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's that there's constantly music being made. Uh, and then be it whole songs or just little snippets of things. And then it's just a matter of getting together and, uh, and turn them into songs. Uh, and then you know, once we got enough of that, and uh, we'll just see what the schedule is and see if, we, if there's time off, we can get off the road and actually back into the studio again. Uh, so, well, you know, we would like to get back into the studio sooner rather than later, just because uh, you know, it's been five years in between albums, and that was a bit too long. So, I mean, if we can do it. You know, as soon as possible, then that would be great. But you know, that's that's still that's still on the very early planning stages right now. In the meantime, mate, you've got a busy, busy year ahead of you. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Lots of things, including yeah. Australia, which we... including what a way to start off, way to kick off the year. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, but absolutely. I mean, I think it's the greatest way you can, end. and you know, we'll we'll escape uh, the worst month of the year. In, in this country, uh, that we just go down. So I'm gonna I'm going to send I'm gonna take so many pictures like in sunny weather, beaches, <laughs> palm trees, and cocktails as much as I can, and just send home to all my friends. <laughs> that's the best. Yeah, that's what you're gonna do. Yeah. that's the that's what you're gonna do. And bring your board shorts if you got yeah, some, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Go to the beach, you know, and you yeah, yeah. Wish you were here, postcards, but uh... mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not 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 wish you were here. Just like you know, yeah, hey, here's what I'm doing. I don't know what you're doing. What do you? What do you guys? What do you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you guys drinking? <laughs> Is it cold? But um, hey. yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I know you feel it now. But you know, not long to go. Mm -hmm. Only a week. Yeah, only a week. But um... yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, but you know, I I leave this godforsaken. Uh, uh polar planet uh already tomorrow morning so uh oh so, true that early that quick yeah, yeah well we, we're going to it's a long it, it, it'll take almost two days we get to um to new zealand first 
Ah, the Hobbits. So, yes, yeah, going to see the Hobbits first, uh, and then we'll, uh, you know, we'll get to you guys in good time. Yeah. Well, I'll see you in <laughs> Brisbane. That'll be unreal. Ah, cool, wonderful, wonderful. Where, where it all began. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Back to square one. That's right. We have to go visit. We have to visit the old side of the arena. Yeah, it's not much <laughs> there, just dirt. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> Bring some old. of the dirt home. Oh man, I saw some yeah. bands there. Mm -hmm. You guys and mm -hmm. oh man, rest in peace. Yeah, Bummer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that's a you know, venues come and go, but at least I mean there there's still some good venues left. So we still yeah, and more popping up. But uh, hey man. Thanks for mm -hmm. hanging on the show. It's been really cool. And uh, we have, will have all the links down here to the uh, tour dates. It's on sale now. Mm -hmm. Robert, you take care. Have a safe flight. Say hello to the Hobbits for us. And we'll see you. Will do. Well, well, the thing. nice talking to you, man. Take care. Yeah, you too, man. Have a good one, bro. All right. All right. See you. Yeah.